Hi, today I want to show you this infrared thermometer that I bought in Home Depot. It's made by company General. Simple design, LCD screen, uh, infrared sensor in the front and the laser pointer, trigger for measuring, compartment for your batteries. There's a switch right here on the top between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It works on two AAA batteries. I have it set up for Celsius right now and I want to test it. So the test that I want to do is I'm going to boil the water. The water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So if I'm going to be pointing that inside of the uh, my kettle, I should get 100 degrees. If this is going to be correct. So right now it's not boiling yet. So in the meantime I can just show you all you do is just Squeeze the trigger, you have a laser pointer, wherever it points, it should show you the temperature. So the water is almost boiling, and I'm gonna put it right inside. Ah, it's actually alrighty, 94 86. Ah. So depending on how far I hold it from this, that's how my... Ah, something is wrong. Unless the IR sensor is fucked, but it was showing me 100 for a few seconds. See, it's now right now shows 60, 70. That's totally not accurate. It should show 100. 80 Let me wait until it turns off and then let me do it again I think it shuts off after 7 seconds and we'll see again if I'm gonna get 100 No, only 70 degrees, 76 Where's my 100? Well, 20 degrees, that's 20% accuracy. So, it does show something. So, this thermometer shows something, but is it accurate? Probably not. But the one thing, I, one thing that I learned, it's a great toy for my cat. So, the cat can go and chase the laser pointer. And that is probably the best use for this thermometer. But it is not accurate. So thermometer is easy to use. All you have to do is squeeze the trigger. But it's not really accurate. 20% difference in measurements. When I do it in Celsius, it's really huge. So the choice is yours. If you like it or not, I just wanted to show you how inaccurate it is. Although it's easy to use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.